Hello, my name is Puria Bigwand and this movie is about change management and specifically PNAD freeze. I explained before that change management in the urine base has two sides. One is related to the tracking of the history and one is related to the management of changes in future. So in this movie we will focus on management of changes in future and specifically freezing the diagrams. When a sheet is frozen, all the objects inside that sheet and all the connections are protected and frozen. All the attributes with values are frozen, but the sheet is also open for new values and in the empty attributes, new objects and connections, and it is possible to visualize the frozen part. So here we, are, we want to select the PNID and we want to freeze this PNID. In the options, it is possible to combine the freezing part with the revision management and also it is possible to manage the status of the sheet when it is frozen or unfrozen. So we can select the sheet and then we can freeze the sheet. Once the sheet is frozen, it can be seen that who froze the sheet and in which date it was frozen. Also, the status attributes of the sheet are visible. Within a sheet and on each object, it can be seen that, that all the attributes that have a value are frozen and are not modifiable but the rest of the attributes are open for adding new values. The object cannot be deleted and if I move an object which results into change of the connections the system will prevent me to do that. But normal movements of the objects are allowed. So if I want to modify an object, I have two options. Either I can create a state or I can modify the attributes. In this case, I will navigate to, to the object and instead of modifying this object itself, I will create a new state for this object. I can create as many states as I want and I can add more attributes or modify the attributes of the states which are existing in parallel to the real object. These states are like shadows of the real object. For modification of the attributes, I can use the attribute comments or alternative values for the attributes. Here for example, if I want to suggest another value for the design pressure, I can add it as a comment and I can change the status of the attribute to be reviewed or as an alternative suggestion. The status will be visually marked as red. If I add a new object on the PNID which is frozen, then this object is not actually frozen because it's new and this change can be visualized. I can use transparency or color and 
I can view the difference between the objects which are frozen, which is now transparent, and the objects which are not frozen. At any point of time, a user that has the rights and permissions to unfreeze the PNID can go to the tool and unfreeze a PNID. Similar to the freeze, it is possible to add the status to this action. And as a result, the PNID is unfrozen. So now all the objects are open, they can be deleted, they can be modified. And also all the attributes which were suggested during the freeze time can be taken over either automatically or manually to the real attribute values. And the status can change from for example alternative to release.